Now that we've created our pressure network in plan view, we're going to go ahead and take that pressure network and project it into a profile view. In order to do that, what we're going to go ahead and do is navigate to our prospector tab in our tool space. We're going to expand out our pressure networks and we're going to right click on Dev H2O and choose the select option. Once we've selected the entire network, what we're going to go ahead and do is draw parts and profile. So Civil 3D is going to prompt us to select the profile view. So we're going to go ahead and select the profile view that we want to place these drawing this network into. We want to place it into this network here because it's associated with our sewer line that our pressure network kind of follows along with, and it's associated with our design alignment. So we're going to go ahead and place it in this profile view. So once I do that, what you can see here is that we have a pressure network placed that has some minimum cover conditions, probably right in about this area here, and then maybe in this area right here. And so if these were not acceptable and you needed to modify these, you can modify them just like you did with your pipe networks. You would go ahead and select the pipe or the fitting that you want to modify and then go to your pressure pipe properties. And inside of the part properties, you have all of the options to change your reference surface, change your reference alignment, modify your starting and ending northings and eastings, change your elevations of your start center lines, your end center lines, your start invert elevations, your end invert elevations, and then you can see all the other information that's grayed out that's associated with the part type that you have selected. In addition, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and go to your Dev H2O, right click and choose select, and then you could go to edit network and plan layout tools. And then you could go to your panorama window and you could see your tabs for fittings and all of the insertion and size information and your pressure pipes with all of its starting and ending elevations and locations. So I would recommend sticking with those two methods for modifying. You do have the grip edit options again, but just like we discussed, for the parts networks. Pressure networks also tend to have a problem with grip edits because you lose the ties to the fittings. So if I was to move this fitting, I would, I would lose the connection, not necessarily because they're not tied to each other anymore, but because they have gone past the allowable deflection angles. And so the 90 degree bend doesn't necessarily work anymore. I might need to switch out my fittings and that kind of stuff. So grip editing for pressure networks is not my preferred method for editing pressure networks.